Hi, Divine Feminines. Good morning. Um, I'm coming to you today like this, this morning. I just literally got out of bed. Um, as you can see, my bed is not even made. But um, I had a dream. I had a very... <laughs> Martin Luther King. No, I, I had a dream. That's cute. The Two of Cups. And it was the it was probably the weirdest dream I've had in many years. And it was scary. And I'm not going to go into detail because I don't want to confuse or scare anyone or anything. It's not necessary. But that's why I'm coming to do this video today. But the first I have in my dreams in a night's sleep I have about six dreams and they're all different they're like I watched like six different movies and all the different genres and my first dream um, I heard a sound let's just say that I saw it but I heard the sound in my dream out of the one window over here in this little nook in my room and as soon as I woke up today I heard that same sound um, and it just felt so weird it just felt so weird this is right under it felt so weird and so real I just walked around and I tried to wake up I got a sense of everything I looked out through a few windows through my daughter's window over there in her room and everything seemed normal and okay um, then I was like, okay, fine. I walked into the bathroom to do my dailies, <laughs> just to pee. And my bathroom is it's stone, stone and marble. The stone, is, the shower is stone, but there's, there's a step up to get into the bathroom. So obviously not handicapped um, savvy. And this step up, I've never fucked up so bad, and I fucked up my toe. I don't know how it happened, but obviously I was still in the deluge and I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding on my toe and it just is the weirdest thing. I wanted to call my mom, but my mom's working. She lives in Manhattan. Um, and so I'm in Miami, but uh, she's at work. So she's probably on the station or something like that. Um, and I, mean, I just feel creeped out. I feel weird. I know that some of us divine feminines are restricting ourselves. I feel like some of us feel like we're artificial. Um, like we're just waiting to get out of this confinement where we've been lied to and used as like projects. We were made to think that we weren't real. You know, that we weren't, that we aren't real women. It's like Pinocchio, the spoof or the sequel or the, the horror version. is like, we're you know, girls are telling us, our girls, that we're not, Men are telling girls that we're not anything but artificial. And it's time that we realize that there's life. Imagine a place where you're confined and we're tested and we're kept in an, in an unseen world. There's moths in it. There's, I'm, there, it's just, and to know that because the world is ending outside and we're robots and so the people who are real need to be able to control us. And once we break out of that, we're the divergence or what have you, the movie that you like the most, where we're just rebels and we break out of that because we know that there's real, we know that there's love because we feel it out there. So we get in tune with ourselves and we find friends. We find, we make those enemies our friends because all along it was just about the money. You know, it was all just about the sinful nature of the world. You know, it was all just about someone's task that they thought they needed to complete to where judgment day comes and it turns out it was wrong. We all hear the gospel, but sometimes it gets manipulated. The devil comes in all shapes, form and sizes, money, power. And once we get out of this confinement, It'll go back to normal. I mean, things will never be the same, but we'll be walking right up the street and see whatever we see on a day-to-day -day basis because, wait, oh, wait, actually, the world wasn't ending. Oh, wait, it, there was no apocalypse. There was just someone in, in, in need of power, in need of fame, in need of attention that they so desired that mommy and daddy didn't give them, that they had 
they had to keep as many of us behind as like prototypes because they didn't want to see the truth. There's a lot I want to say about that, but it's we need to get out of this confinement into thinking that we are not good enough. Let's shuffle these cards, Divine Feminines. Let's shuffle these cards because there's going to be a shedding of the skin. The Four of Wands. The, the King of Cups. The Seven of Wands. The Five of Swords. The Fool card. And the King of Swords. And when I went, when I, and at the bottom is the Temperance card. Um, when I did, when I woke up, I did a, I did a spread for myself. Okay, because I needed to know what this dream meant. The Four of Wands and the Fool card came up in reverse, clarifying the Tower, along with another card that I don't remember. Um, it'll come out, and I'll remember. And here's the Death card that I just saw. We need to make, we need to definitely change because for some reason somebody is going to go through something it's good there's going to be a major eye opener today for a lot of us it may even it, there's there's going to be a major shift um the first card out is the four of wands let's clarify every single thing let me talk to the four of wands spirit that's celebration joy and homecoming okay maybe your family's going to be able to welcome you back in Okay, you've been so distant. For the Four of Wands, we have the uh, the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so there's going to be a completion. Okay, that, that Eight is, you know, like an infinity sign as well. So this is destined for you to happen. Okay, Mamacita and, and all the boys out there, the men out there as well. This is destined um, to happen. Okay. There's passion in what you know. There is stability in who you are. There's knowledge, drive, ambition in your journey, in you, all in a cluster, and it makes you. There's no reason why we need to feel eight of swords. I know a lot of us are going through, you know, family passings. Um, that's also going to be happening. Um, there's there's going to be rebirth and death in you, okay, in yourself. There's going to be death in, you know, and, and change in what you found to be everything, all that you knew. There's going to be a completely different um, intake on that. And I do want to make sure that once we walk away from these bondages, that we can walk away into everlasting. Okay. Okay. Do we want something else for the Four of Wands? Let's see what talk to me. The Page of Pentacles in Reverse. All right. So I don't want to say this is not a skill developing. I don't want to say that once we walk away, we're going to be moving towards some sort of lack of discipline, lack of uh, strive, determination, stability, and security. I do want to say this is the end of one way of thinking, of doing something into a new. Okay? Into a new. We opened up to the three of pentacles, uh, excuse me, the three of cups. I do believe we are going to walk away and, and diminish any ideas of um, adultery, um, any ideas of how we get money, any ideas of the skills that we were developing once before. Uh, for some of us, we're going to walk away and jump into in denial. For some of us, we might start giving our money away. For some of us, we might start, um, we might partake in, you know, in a shop, I don't know, for, you know, a mechanic, uh, um, okay? But we might start tapping into our skills. We might start, um, we might keep it to ourselves. Some of us are going to walk away scared shitless, Okay. But we're coming up against, we're, we're going towards love. We're, we're, let's clarify this King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. A new, yeah. Shedding and of a new. 
and the death card, just like I said, okay, for the king of cups. I do want to say to some of you, and I think it would be unfair because of the, the status of the video, we're walking in to the love of our life's arms. My dream ended when I left this confinement out on the street with three groups, with three women. Three? Two. With two women, including myself. I kid you not. Walking away from an old habit of thinking and doing into a new. Remember, once you leave, you always feel better. Once you ditch, once you once you shed, you always feel better. It's a load off to begin anew and go through that gate. Leave that confinement. Get, grab it and go. The King of Cups will be waiting on the other side. You need to make that change. You need to, you need to see exactly and feel exactly. Say, bring it on to that pain. Talk, you know, just firmly. I need to move on. Because right now, all I know is that I'm worth shit. We're just fighting our own gate, salvation. We've got... We've got someone waiting for us. Seven of Wands, Spirit, talk to me. Seven of Wands. Do we want more? Seven of Wands. Oh, wow. Okay, so...